Yeah, Talon, I, uh, Kalani told us you guys scrimmaged today. He said maybe the offense got a little bit of the upper hand. Would you agree with that as a defender? And what were maybe some of the highlights for the defense today? Yeah, I mean, looking maybe overall, um, pretty balanced. The defense, we started a little slow, so we got to work on that. Um, then we kind of ramped it up and made plays. Um, but yeah, I think overall defense did well. Lots to improve on still, and there's a... Uh, um, heard Kalani talking earlier about everyone doing their 111th, and it's, it's exactly true. We just got to trust each other and um, do our job to the best of our ability, and our defense is, is really good. And just to follow up, how would you, how's the safety position looking? From, from the outside, it looks like there's a lot of talent there, a lot of experience. How, how's that room shaping up? Yeah, yeah, like you're saying, there's, I mean, there's, handful there's probably like seven or so guys that have played significant reps um whether last season the season before and and so it's it's definitely a battle right now and there's lots of talent um but it's been going well there's guys who are stepping up making plays guys who are um, you know separating themselves from the group and um the safeties are coming along and just the understanding of the entire defense you know having coach hill in our room is very beneficial, uh, watching film, teaching us um, why he's calling certain plays and how we can um, better execute certain calls and the safeties have to take control. And um, it's, been, it's been really good to, to see uh, the safety step up in that way and um, kind of take control of the, de uh, take ownership of the defense. And we'll go to Sean next and then Jared. Couple things for you, Talon. Uh, thanks for joining us after practice uh, yeah. today. Really appreciate it. But on kind of on that note, what kind of advantage does it give you guys having the defensive coordinator in your safeties group? As you know, Jay Hill's obviously safeties coach, but also running the whole defense. D does that almost give you guys uh, sort of like a quarterback's perspective, I guess, of the defense as during install and and prep and and all those practices? Yeah, I, that's a good way to put it. Having a like, quarterback view of just to the entire the entire defense, we get taught what the D line is doing, uh, why they're doing it, what the linebackers are doing, what the corners are reading, what they're supposed to do. So if, when we're watching the film, coach will let us um, kind of take over and ask us, well, who like, who's wrong, who didn't do their job correctly, and he expects all the safeties to know if the D line didn't slant to the right gap, if the linebacker didn't fit his gap quick enough, or uh, just if the corner was in, outside instead of being inside leverage. So all those like details are super important. Um, but it's also available to, to everybody. We we hold, you know, Coach Hill watches film in the morning with a lot of guys, and so they're also getting the same same coaching and same um, treatment, um, I guess, expectation. They're also expected to know the whole defense. And um, as we continue to get better at that, I think the defense is going to improve and just continue to skyrocket to to a phenomenal defense. And then Coach Sitake just barely brought up uh, this safety, and Coach Hill actually talked to us a little bit about it a couple about him a couple days ago. But he's he's new to the room. He should be a senior in high school still. Seems like Tommy Prasis has been making a lot of plays. So just what kind of a what kind of a kid is that? What kind of jumps off the page as a veteran in, in that group about him and his game and sort of what he's been able to do through the first three three weeks of his first spring ball? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things that you know, sets Tommy apart is his coachability. He comes in, like you said, he should be in high school still. He's young, but he's willing to take all the coaching points that Coach Hill, Coach Gavin, all the coaches are giving him and apply them as soon as he can. And if you do what the coach asks you to do, one, you're going to make plays, and then you're going to play a lot because he can trust you to do what he wants you to do. And um, so, yeah, I think and he's, and he's athletic. He's quick. He's um, he's eager to make plays. He's confident in his abilities. And so, just his coachability is probably the biggest thing I'd say that uh, Tommy's uh, excels at and sets him apart. So it's good. Talon, I don't know if you heard what I was asking Kalani, but I'm going to ask the player's perspective on some of the same questions, a couple of questions. Eddie Heckert said last year that he felt like he had an advantage in this defense because he was so familiar with it that he knew when to take risks and when not to. What's it like as a player when you get to that point? When you know, okay, now I can take risk, or this is how to disguise it. Was what Kalani was saying versus 
just trying to do everything, you know, by the book. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely enhances your game and your, and increases your chance to make plays because if we can disguise and give the quarterback a look that is different than what we're actually dropping to, he, one, just it just changes his reads up and um, takes, lo- takes longer so then the D-line has more time to get there. Um, or like what Eddie was talking about, like taking risks and um, making plays is really the biggest thing. And so if you are supposed to, you know, f- go through the f- – through the face of a blocker and over the top, but you have an inside edge and you make a tackle, like coach is never going to be upset at you if you make a tackle, you're making plays. And so it's stuff like that, that you know what you're supposed to do. And if you now, if you do the wrong thing and don't make the play, that's when you get in real trouble. And so, but having that understanding as a de- whole defense and knowing when you can, you know, shoot and make a play, when you can give the quarterback a different look and then roll over the top of a, the throw that he wanted and then pick it off like stuff like that is, is definitely huge for us as we like are in year two of learning defense we just are getting better and better at that and um so yeah it's been and that's another thing with the safety group is having that experience it's we don't have to be just robots we can disguise we can shift we can you know give different calls and um try to make plays that way i also asked about one of the challenges you see in camp and you're going up against your own guys. You're going to get up against your own team. How often do you look at what the offense does against your unit and say, wow, that was a really good job by the offense. They just were a little bit better than us. And how often do you look at yourself and say, eh, we didn't, you know, we didn't perform at the level we're capable of because it's kind of a give and take when you're, when you're in practice that way. Right. Yeah. It's definitely a, definitely tricky to kind of ba- balance perspective on that, but it's always fun. As a defensive player, when you see a new play, the offense runs a new play. Um, you're like, oh wow, like we haven't seen that one yet. That was cool. Like now we know. How, like next time we know how to defend it better. But like for the first first times that they run it, like it's fun to kind of see the creativity of uh, A. Rod and um, those offensive staff coaches and what they're scheming up, especially against the defense that they're seeing now in spring ball. So, um, but yeah, you're right. It's we definitely want to win every rep as a defense, no matter what play it is, because sometimes teams will run plays we never see, but we got to, if we do our job, we should win every play. Um, and then some plays, guys get out of whack and they, they make plays, so but he's got to bounce back and get the next one, so. Okay, Talon, appreciate your time, that's it. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a good one.